Big news out of Buffalo right before the trade deadline with Kelvin Benjamin going to the Bills. And not just because of all the cold weather and zero degree Kelvin jokes we can make now. By the way, Buffalo fans, the best way to protect against the cold is not to light yourself on fire and jump through a folding table. Instead, consider a slimming peacoat and wool scarf combo and a warm conversation with good friends. Now, as far as Benjamin's fantasy prospects in Buffalo, I honestly don't see him as a much different player than he was in Carolina. That is a mid-tier wide receiver, too. If you have Benjamin on your team, you're going to have him in your starting roster as much as you did or did not to this point in the season. I actually think the biggest winner for Buffalo in the deal is actually Tyrod Taylor. Think about it. Tyrod is quarterback 14 on a fantasy points per game basis so far this year and has been with Jordan Matthews and Zay Jones as his top wide receivers. And that was without Charles Clay for half of the season. Since the start of the 2015 season, he has been quarterback 10 in fantasy points per game despite hitting 250 passing yards in just 22.2% of his games. The nine quarterbacks ahead of him during that stretch, they've thrown for more than 250 passing yards in 61.2% of their games. So now you give Taylor a major upgrade at the wide receiver position and a favorable matchup in the second half of the season, the Bills get the Chargers D, Indianapolis, and the Patriots twice. I see Taylor as a legit top 10 quarterback for the remainder of the season, and he's available in more than 30% of leagues. If you've been burned by the likes of Matt Ryan or Phillip Rivers this season, look to see if Tyrod Taylor is on your waiver wire or consider trading for him. The asking price shouldn't be too high, and then sit back and enjoy the delicious fantasy points.